Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, You Next Officer. We are back with our initiative of discussion of uh, G, uh, sociology daily means co one question daily, right? And we are uh, we are delighted to announce that we are starting our paper two. So uh, we'll start with the paper two, and with the first unit, what we are talking about is the perspective of the Indian society through the. Uh, uh, through the Indian sociologist, right? So uh, in this very first unit, we have a G.S. Ghure. And G.S. Ghure, he gave, he is the founder, architect of Indian sociology. He is he gave his study through the Indological perspective and studied the Indian society through the Indological perspective. So coming back to our question. So before this, starting our uh, session, do subscribe, share, like our channel, guys. So... Let's start. So our question is, first we need to break the question into parts, right? So uh, this will help us to understand the question and answer accordingly, right? So uh, the first one is the GS Ghure, Ind write the short note on the GS Ghure Indological Perspective and Understanding of Indian Society. So we break the, the, this question into three parts, right? So first is the GS Ghure, we need to understand or write some part. Uh, how G.S. Ghure adopted the Indological perspective, we need to study that, and how he interpreted the Indian society, right? How he interpreted the Indian society, right? So, we'll start with the things, okay? So, uh, I'm explaining you the question, you got the question. So, what G.S. Ghure did? G.S. Ghure studied the Indian society through the Hindu, uh, Indian society as a Hindu society, right? Here's the G.S. Ghure. And how he studied the Indian society through the Indological perspective. In this, in his Indological perspective, he studied the Indian society as a Hindu society. He uh, Hinduized society. All the Indian society is called as a Hindu society, according to. And he studied the Hindu text like Ramayana, Mahabharat, Upanishads, right? And derived the conclusion about the society. If, according to him, in uh, through the Indological perspective, Lord Ram is a kind of a son right is a best son so according to him that is according to the gs guri all the son of the country or the india special is at having having the attributes of lord ram right and similarly all the attributes uh, whatever or whosoever uh, means uh, sita uh, is uh, is holding or upholding then the same goes with the daughter-in-law. So he studied the Indian society through the this uh, Hinduized perspective, right? Next, moving on to next part, that is he also uses the G.S. Ghure uses diffusionist perspective. Diffusion is what? Intermingling. Diffusion is what? Intermingling. Intermingling of different culture. Like Aryan culture with the Indian culture, British culture, right? means because india british ruled in india that uh, that's why we diffusion uh, we uh, means indian society is kind of a diffusionist society right through the national perspective historical perspective and descriptive ethnometrological perspective now what uh, we can write it out see uh, bear me with this because these are my own notes so that's why they are uh, written with a different color pen so bear me with this uh, uh, with this uh, writing and all. So G.S. Ghure, what he, you can write about the two line or one line for the G.S. Ghure. He promoted the sociology as a subject or uh, started a sociological bulletin. Sociological bulletin, right? Institutional builder. He is an institutional builder. And what we uh, uh, other we call, he uh, means Bombay University is the first Indian uh, university uh, started the sociology and the batch of sociologists he trained the sociologist trained the other sociologist and that training ml mn Srinivas, right so now we'll talk about see gs Ghure negated the oriental view of society oriental how orientalist what means what orientalist are the britishers or colonist they they interpreted the indian society they interpreted the Indian society, they interpreted, right? They interpreted. 
calling caste as a uh, discriminatory institution right discriminatory institution right next is the caste other uh, is the uh, we'll talk about the book that is a caste right he talk about uh, means he wrote about the caste system in his book the caste and the race in india the caste and the race in india and he gave the different features endogamy endogamy is means what uh, doing marriage in his or her own caste means following the caste system right right and marrying within the caste endogamy is means within the caste right the caste act as a defining uh, feature of the society right attributional approach kinship and the caste act as a integrative uh, fragment means what see if uh, see for example in the brahmins they married with the other brahmins right so it integrate their culture integrate their culture their custom right so this is called as a attributional approach next is his book is all about see uh, more than that you can't write in your answer right you don't have the enough space to write whole thing about the caste and all right what you can do even the question on caste it, it will be asked so definitely you have to write it down the gs gure 3 4 gs gure's caste perspective in 3 4 lines rather than writing the whole page right you have to diversify your answer if uh, the gs gure if the question is asked on gs gure definitely you have to write about the caste in a one in three four line right same with the tribes and the tribes what he said uh, he wrote the book called tribes in india tribes in india in india right tribes in india and propounded the assimilation theory what is uh, what is assimilation theory what he said means these are the tribes just let them integrate assimilate assimilate with assimilate with what with the hinduized society they are the modern society then only they will become modern then only they will become cultured right otherwise they just they just okay they just leave their caste right they just become the uncultured person right uncultured or we can say uh, they don't get developed right the go- growth and development is impossible right for their progress and upliftment and criticize the isolationist theory what are called as a isolationist theory isolationist theory is propounded by elvin weaver elvin weaver and what he said just re- make them i so means let them live their own life let them live their own culture and do not integrate do not force any culture to them right and keep them away from the development see these are the tribes living and this is the development part or this is the growth for uh, what alvin weaver says the development differs from person to person right for one person development is different other will be different right like a backward and gs gure called them a backward hindus similarly uh, the gs gure is topic means a book on the uh, religion what he his views on religion gs gure called the religion as a indian society religion at a center is a total heritage of the man right religious consciousness is important according to the gure religious consciousness is important for the uh, culture for the uh, for the preservation and the foundation of culture and civilization moving on to next part that is a village gs gure has rejected the oriental view of self sufficiency what is self sufficiency according to the orientalist view or the colonialist view the village is a the indian village is a closed system like indian village was a closed system and because of this is closed there there is no interaction with the outside they they just produce whatever they tend to use right like that so uh, we have the relation means within uh, social relation like marriage from one village with another village trade system weekly bazaar next uh, gs who see in this answer in this model answer what you get you will get you get the entire gs gure's 
work in four or five pages right and this is going to be very useful for you to write it down the answer right next is the sadhus sadhus right indian sadhus sadhus link the common man and spiritual being religion is a, means sadhu is in between and he is a common being he is the religion as for the common being it is uh, for the common being it is very difficult to understand the religion and because of the sadhus they get to assimilate they get to understand about the what is religion right so religion is the center of all culture on the urbanization see this gives a kind of a diverse answer every aspect when it comes to the gs gore you have to write every aspect of the gs gore right next is the urbanization for the, uh, it see uh, gs gore was very uh, very much in the favor of urbanization right is in the favor of the means the positive thoughts about the urbanization and uh, according to him the urbanization is what urbanization is the cradle of innovation cradle of innovation right cradle of innovation despite of being the father see he uh, he has been criticized now all his work is done so what all things we have covered just uh, like urbanization urbanization caste system right what else about the religion about the sadhus right what else is there right tell me village about the village right everything about the civilization about the religion right everything is covered about uh, the tribes right about the tribes so with this uh, with this answer means if the gs gure will be asked de definitely you have to quote it down quote or write it down the six seven points of a different work and the of the gs gure now moving on to his criticism part see despite being the father of indian sociologists gs gure faced criticism due to what because he just make the whole society this is the whole society he called the indian society is the hindu society whereas it is incorrect because hindu society itself the religion or indian society is assimilated through the different see this is the indian society this is a muslim culture this is this comes from christianity parsis jains and buddhist buddhist sikh culture right and the colonist have colonial history we have the kind of a impact in every aspect but what he said what he did he just assimilated or um, you can call one size fits for all right fit for all right gs gure also criticized for being a armchair sociologist means lacked objectivity lacked objectivity validity textual and just and he gives the lack the field research right and gave only textual understanding he interpreted the entire indian society through the lens of mahabharat whereas we have changed it a lot moving however gs gure uh, established the foundation of society and breeds many uh, sociologists and then sri nawaz okay he gives the kind of this now critical perspective critical analysis even separately critical analysis question will be asked then you have to write it down gs gure failed to recognize the uh, rise of modern indian society right and islamic society means i have already told you the influence of the indian society the different religion influence of a different religion right the colonial history plays a significant role it impacted the indian society largely moving on to next part that is the mnc how ar desai criticizes criticized see gs gure studying the indian culture through the lens of what through the understanding of the he, he is not understanding the indian uh, society because indian society is a there is a inequality right there is a inequality in terms of a caste right there is a inequality in terms of a gender right so and because of this inequality or because of this vested interest of one section of the society one section of the society the freedom movement emerged right and gs gures failed to recognize that freedom movement that uh, prejudices biasness in the society that inequality exists in the society right 
so this is the perspective of the G, uh, ar desai mn chinivas criticized the indology calling uh, by calling it text view means it's a textual understanding how you can understand uh, the present indian society through the uh, text text which was written 1000 plus years ago right it's not possible moving on to next uh, criticism that is yogen singh what he said indologist have taken the example of ancient text non absorbable observable and non empirical evidence next there is another thing that i added indology so you can quote this thinker al basham see he is a important thinker you can quote him al basham al basham and he wonder that was india he is a indologist another see if the why i am adding this if indology if the question comes in, in uh, of indology so definitely you don't have to write the gs gure you have to write about the al basham arash sharma right so and criticism ignores the subaltern perspective different indologists so done so thank you guys for uh, listening and do let me know uh, write it down in the comment section what all things you would like me to incorporate changes required and all so do subscribe share our channel thank you guys thank you very much for the discussion